Hey and welcome back, in this video we'll take a look on a few new things on SketchUp 2018, so let's get started. As you can see not much has changed, they changed uh, the figure to a lady and the main changes are in the section, so for that we're going to use the model we use for the live stream. So let's take a look. This is a small space but this is good enough for our purpose. So once you click on the symbol icon, you get a new dialog. In this dialog, you can give a name for your section and also a symbol. That will help you recognize your sections and the, and the model. So we'll call it A1. After you click place, you, you get the section as usual. You see in the corners, we have the new symbol. And if you can read it, it says A1 on each corner. So that's really cool. Once you place your section, now the new feature is the new icon display section fill so that will fill up your section with as a solid so that's very nice a help for for a lot of architects and in the engineers and now you can also move it like you used to and that will give you a nice cut of the building and you can see i filled up all the walls and that looks pretty good and also if you're trying to put um, lay out some plans that will help you as well to control the fill color and the line weight, you go to style, under edit, you get this new a few features and this fill color, so let's try an, uh, a little bit uh, gray, something a little bit softer. And here the line weight, you also can change there underneath, and you got a few more options as well. The next feature is uh, on the rectangle tool, once you click the rectangle tool, up to now you could draw a rectangle from a corner to a corner, but now if you click the control you get the option to uh, to draw a rectangle from the center so that's pretty nice and very helpful let's say you want to draw a rectangle from let's say the midpoint of this uh, uh, line so you find the midpoint once you find the midpoint you uh, click on control and then you get this new option and that's pretty nice Okay, so another new option is to generate reports. For, for that, we have here a group and we're going to transfer it to a component. Once we, have one, once we make now a component, we get a big dialog. Not like it used to be, we have still the name and the description. And now we have also a bunch of new lines. So basically, the first line is the definition. There we can uh, write the, the definition and then on the description you put the name and everything and on the price we can add also a price size we can also add a size and URL and we can find like a URL that fits our, our, our door for this example and add that and then click create so I did the same also for the windows on the back so now with the outliner we can select all our uh, windows and doors that we want to make a report and if you don't have the outliner you go under window default tray and you can add the outliner. We select the doors and the windows and as you can see on the outliner we have them selected. Under file we have a new option generate a report. So once you click that we create a new template. Once we create a new template we get here a few options. I find the easiest way to deal with this is to select the current selection and just select everything or on the outliner or before on the model. Now we want to choose the things we want to display on our spreadsheet. So we want so we want on the group by the entity name. That's where we put all our description. The other report attributes that we want, we want the price, size and all the other information that we included, so URL. We just drag it and add it into this box. When we're ready, we click run a report and then we have a nice report with the name and also we can uh, download this and add it into our layout file. Simply in layout, you just go under file, insert and then you change to all files. You find your file and you import it into your layout file. You get a nice tablet and then you can change everything you want as you wish. So I just want to inform you that we have been doing a live session, so we took this model and we uh, render it and V-Ray for SketchUp and we got this. So if you want to be part of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and keep uh, track of our uh, Facebook channel. And we're going to do a live session on the new V-Ray 3.6, so definitely check it out. Have a good one, take care.